Hi, it's Robert Murray and welcome to this week's Leadership Minute. It's the weekly video blog where I've got about a minute to answer a question from leaders like you. A question that's popped up a couple of times this past week is tough conversations and how uncomfortable leaders are at virtually every level having tough conversations with either an individual or their team. Now, a key part of leadership is, you know, building the culture in, in your vision that you want. Another key part of leadership is having tough conversations when things aren't always going well. And it might be a performance conversation, it might be a values violation, or it might even be a termination. There's lots of different ways that tough conversations pop up. But leaders at all levels need to practice this. In fact, I just had a conversation this morning with the CEO of a company, and the CEO was telling me how much he hates having tough conversations, especially ones involving terminations. Now, nobody likes that, but one of the things that we can do is get better at it. There's a couple key tips that I'd like to present to you to help you get better at having tough conversations. The first one is preparation. Make, making sure that you've done your homework. Make sure that you are well prepared. Preparation, and in my experience, I've found that when you're well prepared and prepared for the worst, the worst never happens. Uh, number two is practice. Practice what you're going to say. And, and, and even if you don't, don't have a tough conversation coming up, what I would recommend is finding somebody that you trust, another leader, and role play with each other. Role play different conversations. Role play um, you know, emotional conversations. Re role play uh, you know, con conversations around conflict. Role plays uh, are conversations around values violations. Just role play it because the more comfortable you get with somebody who's actually being hard on you, the easier it will be for you when you're actually having those conversations. The final thing I'd like to leave you with is when you're having those conversations, focus on behaviors, not on the person, because that's really what you're trying to correct at the end of the day or uh, bring to the attention of that person that you're working with. Not that person themselves, their behaviors. That's it for this week. Thanks very much for sending your questions in. Please keep them coming. Thank you.